Race 13, the final thrill, and I bred two year old trotting Colts and Gullings. $60,000 purse. Number one is Prime Prospect, owned by Richard Baylog of St. Charles, Illinois. John Boutenchin trains. Dean McGee will drive. Two is Defiant Wind, owned by Ken Hughes of New Windsor. Jason Dean is the trainer. Andy Miller, the driver. Number three, Florida Crown, owned by Ledford Racing Incorporated of Ohio. And Bob and Frederick Lentz of Illinois. Ryan Daly is the trainer. Eric Ledford, the driver. Number four is Sherry's Kim, owned by Horseman's Financial and Premier Racing Stable Incorporated of Illinois. Eric Plowman is the trainer, Tony Morgan the driver. Number five is I.C. Blue Boy, owned by Jim and Beverly Hauser of Mansfield. Delbert Burkett's the trainer. I.C. Uh, Blue Boy is driven by Canel Willis. Number six is Cease and Desist, owned by John Leahy, Anderson Racing Incorporated, and Steve Waller of Illinois and Kentucky. Joe Anderson trains, Ryan Anderson the driver. Number seven is Fox Valley Banker, owned by Bill and Marta Alanya of Seymour. Bill Alanya trains and drives. Number eight is Kadabra, owned by Homer and Jay Hochstetler of Crete, Illinois. Homer Hochstetler is the trainer driver. Number nine is a Seamster, owned by Lily Racing Stables Incorporated, Jerry Graham and J.D. Graham of Illinois. Sonny Graham is the trainer, Dale Heitman the driver. And number 10 is Supercharged, owned by Tom Pollard, Dirk Simpson, the Mystical Marker Farms, and Jack Hood of Illinois and Indiana. Dirk Simpson is the trainer. Dave McGee will drive. Prime Prospect, Defiant Wind, Florida Crown, Sherry's Kim, I see Blue Boy, Cease and Assist, Fox Valley Banker, Kadambra, Seamster, and Supercharged. People, stand back from the fence, please, in front of the tote board. Please back up. Here they come. And they're often uh, trotting between horses. It's uh, Sherry's Kim racing out on the inside, Defiant Wind. As we race into the first turn, Defiant Wind, Cadaver on the outside. He trots up to challenge for Hochstetler. We race into the first turn four across the racetrack. And now Florida Crown has made the front. Florida Crown leads him by a length and a half. But on the outside, Cadaver coming at the leader. Defiant Wind is trotting third. Sherry's Kim is back there fourth. Cease and Desist is racing fifth. Fox Valley Bankers now sixth. I see Blue Boy is racing seventh. The other three are far back off a quarter and 29 and to two-fifths of a second. As we head up the back stretch, Sherry's Kim and Morgan from the outside there. The new leader now by a length. Back uh, to second, Defiant Win. Racing third is Cadabra as they trot towards the half-mile marker. And on the inside, fighting back. Ledford says not quite yet. We're not going to give up the front. On the inside, the leader is still Defiant uh, or uh, Florida Crown with... Uh, Sherry's Kim on the outside, but Florida Crown leads by a head on the inside. Off the quarter and 29 and two, there's the half in a minute. And now a three wide move as we race into the upper term. It's still Sherry's Kim between them and Cadabra. And Cadabra on the outside is now collared the leaders. Cadabra three wide, now Cadabra gets the lead. Back to second on the inside, Florida Crown. Dropping back is a Sherry's Kim. Moving up now as we race over to the three quarter mile marker. On the inside, Florida Crown on the outside, Cadabra. Those two are head and head at the quarter of a mile to trot. Florida Crown along the inside. Cadaver on the outside, second. And Cease and Desist moves up third. Cherry's Kim is back fourth. Fox Valley Banker is fifth. I see Blue Boys back there, sixth. Two year old trotters at the head of the stretch. And now Cadabra's made the front for Homer Hochstetler. Cadabra leads him. Florida Crown is back there, second. But Cadabra really strong in the lane. It's all Cadabra. Cadabra pulling clear now. He's going to win it by about five. Florida's crown is there, second. Sherry's Kim holds on for third. I see Blue Boy cease and desist. Cadabra. Into the winner's circle now, Cadabra, the winner of the Illinois Colts Stake final for two year old trotting Colts and 50% of the $60,000 purse owned by Homer and Jay Hochstetler of Crete, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler, and they win the trophy here. The Daniel M. Hines Comptroller of the State of Illinois Trophy and Ann Sundin, the Assistant Comptroller. 
in the winner's circle to make that trophy presentation to Homer Hochstetler and Kadambra, the full brother to Lisa Holiday, who won the three-year-old championship yesterday.